Welcome back to 17 on set. Joining me this morning are Ryan Martinez and George Nigo with the Contreras Foundation here to talk about an upcoming cornhole tournament fundraiser. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Of course, cornhole is such a fun, fun thing to do. It's a very popular event. Uh, but let's talk about uh, the Contreras Foundation and what uh, what you guys do. Yes, well, the Contreras Foundation has been around for over 30 years, and mm -hmm. you know, first of all, like I said, I just told you, you know, thanks again for working with us, helping us out. At 17 News, you guys have helped us out a lot with all our other events throughout the year. Um, the Contreras Foundation, you know, we give scholarships out to the community. We have a number of other things we do. Um, we're part of the Adopt a Highway program. We have a group for people that go out and do the highway cleanup, youth group. We have had our uh, first this past December clothing drive, and other or, uh, groups in town. Throughout the year, we have benefits and dinners, golf tournaments, New Year's dances. Uh, George, in the fall, usually does his horseshoe tournament. Mm -hmm. So this event coming up this week in the Cornhole is our first Cornhole event. And it all, so, of course, all benefits those for those scholarships. It all benefits Kern County education. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've just looked within the last several weeks, just within the last 10 years, the Contreras Foundation's given over $70,000 wow. back out to wow. Kern County. That's so incredible. So this event coming up this weekend, all the proceeds go towards education. Cornhole tournament. I mean, this is this is such a fun uh, fun thing to do. Uh, this is the first time you guys are doing this, right? Correct. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what we should expect this weekend. Well, we're expecting 64 teams. It's going to be a round robin, with uh, the top teams to move up to a double uh, to a playoffs, which is going to be a double elimination. Mm -hmm. So basically, they're going to win a cash prize that determines on how many teams are going to be in it, and a course a trophy and. Uh, Second and third, we'll have trophies. Then we'll have a snack shack there, uh, selling burgers, hot dogs, even menudo. Uh, we'll have a kiddies corner for the kids, keep them entertained all day, a couple jumpers. So it's uh, no cover charge. It's just basically a family event. Mm -hmm. Only charge is going to be for your food or you get inside. So. We're totally just trying to make money for the right. scholarships. So again, it's happening this weekend. You can still come on out, and it sounds like it's going to be a great competition. Thanks so yes. much for coming in this morning. Yes. Really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. All right, we're back after this.